Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to show you guys how I was told to measure for a CTV belt. Uh, got kind of things kind of set up here a little bit and uh, we'll uh, get right after it here. Uh, there's three measurements you need. You need the front uh, drive pulley diameter, uh, the inner diameter on the outside of the belt. So that means you need to stretch the belt good and tight over top of it. Um, take a measurement there. You need the outside diameter of your driven pulley. It's on the axle or the back, uh, depending on how you're running. If it's going to a jack shaft and a chain drive uh, on this golf cart, it's the uh, it's right on the rear end. Uh, you need the outside diameter of that. Then you need the center to center measurement between the center of the driven pulley or drive pulley and the driven pulley, and then there's a bunch of math and stuff you can do, or there's calculators online, or the third option is uh, wherever you're buying your belt from. Sometimes they can, if you give them them numbers, they can do the math on them and give you exactly what you want or what you need. So, uh, I'll grab a couple of little things here and then we'll uh, get started. All right, guys. Um, I got a pair of C-clamp vice grips on the belt here to wrap, get it wrapped around. I couldn't pull it tight enough and run my calipers. So we're going to take that, get that measurement right there. And that looks like a 2.458. Um, I might just go ahead and call it two and a half. might be good enough I think that might be good enough so uh, I'll give them both numbers or put both numbers into the calculator and see what I come up with um, that's the front one I'll move you guys around get you a shot of the back show you how I'm going to measure that up all right guys now we're going to measure this back one. I'm going to use my dividers. And it doesn't matter if you go on the inside or the outside. You just got to make sure you get to the widest part. I'm going to go on the outside because it will be a little bit easier for me. I can eyeball across to see, make sure that I'm dead center. And then I'm going to... Lay that on a tape measure, so I lock it down, and measure that, and that pulley is 9.5 inches, so now when you're doing these, uh, you want to make sure you get that right belt size up on that front pulley there up here you want to make sure you get that belt good and tight down in here because if you don't if you just run if you run a looser belt uh, what's going to happen is you're going to lose your low end torque uh, that this pulley is going to have to start coming in and the size of the pulley is going to grow in relation to this before you start driving your driven pulley. Uh, that, if you get it down in good and tight, it'll start driving it. As soon as that pulley, that drive pulley, starts coming together, it's going to start driving. I've seen on a lot of golf carts, uh, other pieces of equipment, too big a belts put on them, and that clutch will, the drive clutch will be quarter to halfway closed before that rear rear one even you know starts to spin or starts locking up and getting tight so to get ult ult ultimate uh, efficiency and torque and everything out of it make sure you got the right size belt so uh, I'm gonna go online here and see if I can't find a belt size and if I can get the right length belt or get the right measurement length belt. I'm going to check with Napa. Napa is pretty good about getting me my belts and stuff. 
and uh, we'll get a belt for it and get it on and maybe start ripping this thing. Well, first thing is we got to put some brakes on it and an exhaust. That shouldn't take too long. I'm still kind of figuring out which, how I want to do the exhaust. Uh, I got some flex tube. I'm thinking about coming off of here, flexing, coming back, coming straight out the back, or I may just drop it down and come right out the side. Um, I think a side pipe would be <laughs> cooler, but uh, I have to wait and see how loud it is, because like I said, this is going to be my workhorse for around the, around the house and stuff here, so I don't want it too obnoxiously loud, but I do want it to sound cool, so when we're when I'm getting ready to do the brakes and exhaust and final couple things there, we'll bring you back and uh, show you what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. This is a little quick video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment. And we'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.